Thank you for visiting my channel. Just thinking about a current situation I was in. Um, you know, it's funny how people, well, women, I would say, you know, some of them think that they're better, but at the end of the day, they got the short end of the stick. And it's funny. You know, um, this educated Becky now has to pay child support to me because she is married to an educated lame that I was with and had a child with. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just kind of funny. It's, it's really, she is really a bottom shelf. Um, but he, like I said, he wanted somebody that he could just coast with someone who would, um, pay his bills and all that stuff. So not only is she paying her own bills, she's handing me a, a, a good lump sum of money monthly because she decided to marry this dude. And for her and for a lot of women, unfortunately, <laughs> Um, marriage is really a, a symbol, a symbol that makes you feel um, superior to other women that are single. But at what cost? She, um, I'm sure she's not thrilled about this. This is a really educated person. This is a person that um, has her master's degree. And she has two children with him too. So not only does she have to pay her student loans, not only does she have to pay her regular bills and some of his bills because he does work, but he earns less as she does. She has to maintain her children's lifestyle as well. Um, her father, her white father, of course, because she's a white woman, had to put a down payment for their house. He couldn't even come up with a down payment. And for his daughter and his grandchildren to live comfortably, he had to pitch in. The grandfather had to pitch in. So I don't know. I, I really, I don't see it as a win for her, but um, it's just, uh, to me, it's um, hilarious. And for me to put myself in that position, that's something I would not do. I will not pay for companionship, but she decides she wants to pay for companionship. And I think that's going to be the future for a lot of women, even those that, people thought because of their phenotype were superior, that's going to be the future for them. So good luck with that. And good luck with the wealth because the wealth is going to be drained because you decided to be married to a man beneath you. And I'm not talking about the so-called phenotype race, whatever you want to call it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about character and I'm talking about finances. Okay. So even if you're divesting or doing whatever you're doing, make sure the person is financially sound as well. Look at that credit score. Take the time. See how his attitude is with the um, with uh, money in general. Can he handle stress? Is he able to hustle if he needs to? Does he have children and not you know doesn't tell you until the end un until you guys already signed the papers? That could be a problem because. Once that woman asks for child support, even it could happen a couple of years. It could happen a decade later that a person asks for child support and the kid is still under 18, you're screwed. So your wealth is going down because you're with this educated lame. It's not even a pookie because everybody wants to everybody wants to point at pookie, but pookie knows how to hustle. It's the educated lame you have to be careful with. It's the educated lame. Be careful out there, bitch.